Hello and welcome to episode 17 of my Factorio tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing the New Hope campaign and in this episode hopefully putting in place infrastructure to be able to start making the research packs, at least the research pack ones. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've decided I've got iron up here to the north and I've got copper down there to the south. Now you always need plates of iron and plates of copper also you need iron gears and copper uh, cables so what I want to do is just run a, a, a transport belt taking copper from the south up to the north and iron from the north down to the south that way making up in between whatever production lines I, I want uh, I've moved out my turrets you'll notice further to give me more space here to plan so let's start by putting in place some more iron because we're going to need lots of it so I'm going to do deploy two um, let's see if I do them like that and like that and then have a transport belt going to the right like that and then maybe I can have the smelters either side going across I'm trying to make use of all the space rather than wasting it so I've ripped up a load of the steel furnaces well four of them so I can have them Hopefully it will work like this. And maybe I should need space between them. Um, as long as there's a gap of two either side, I guess. So now I can should get to get away with that. Okay, so conveyor belt there. Okay, so that hopefully is going to be the iron. Now I'm going to need coal to get across to these. So the coal will be coming from here. And what I can do, make another mining drill. And put that here. And then transport that. Oh. What on earth is it trying to do? Transport that across here. And take it up that way. So, turn it around. In fact, what I could do is come up around here and up there. So, let's try that. Need a gap of one, so that's a tight bend, but never mind. As long as it works. Okay, this can come up here, and I can use the underground belts. So let's one there, and I prefer to have a gap, so we'll do that there. Zoom in a bit. Okay, now this will come up here. I need a gap of one. Now, let's see. Will that work? That's the question. So, if I'm inputting in here, where's my output going to go? Oh, I haven't left room for output. Mm. That one's okay because it can output to the left. So maybe I'm going to have to do that. I have one there and then I have a gap. So it can output. And the outputs. Wow, it does get complicated. So the output can go here. Uh, let's 
let's see, so output to there. Have my other furnace here. No, that's still too close. What about there? Will that make it? It has to have a gap of one, so input there. Coal as well, I've got her input. What about there? Could put it there. Or there even. Let's try that. So it's going to get the coal in there. And it can. And it needs the iron. Which would have to come in from the top, from that belt. And the output on that side. There. So this one's got to get iron. In from there. The same as that. That's inputting the coal. Let's rip this one up. So this one's getting its coal from there. It's outputting the iron plates to there. This needs to, let's see, so that's going to be going in. So that's that. This has now got to come across here. So again, I can use the underground gap like that, which allows this one to output there. Then they can both meet up. there. It's a real jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so this is getting its iron and its coal and it needs to output. Here's where I'm saying it's going to output to. That needs to reach that. Let's put an inserter there. Okay, let's use one of my medium electric poles. That has a much further reach. And now I need to link that though. Let's make a load of the small ones. Okay, that's given all of that power. Let's that just needs fuel, these need power. Okay, let's now see what happens. So this needs power. That will now start pumping coal down here. Why is the iron? Oh, the iron needs power. Right, okay, so we should now see iron and coal being... S the iron being smelted in the furnaces. And the plates coming out. Going around, coming to over here. This can come a bit further this way. It's better to find. 
How on earth am I going to get coal to another one over here, though? I really have no idea. Oh, that's coal. So the coal's coming down here. Iron's coming down here. So I can have another one here, perhaps. Maybe I need another coal furnace. I don't know if it's coming through quick enough. It is backing up, though. Yeah, that got that problem of not being able to grab it. But it is backing up slowly. I could do another one, I guess, to speed things up. So let's put another one down there. So we'll make another. Mining drill. Let's put it here for now. And that can be gathering from there. Take it on a conveyor belt. There. There we go. Twice as much coal. That definitely will be enough. And both sides of the belt are being used. So that's definitely good. Hopefully this one will stop throwing a wobbly. There you go, it's happy now. So that's even more plates going to be coming out. The plates, of course, I want to run, like I said, from north to south. So, now I've got to work out, and I want to try and run them along the edge here. So if I can, I want to go straight across. something like that and across here really ideally across there like that okay so I'm gonna need to go under this I hope yeah I can that's lucky put that there There we go, the plates are streaming across. Both sides of the belt are being used again, which is cool. So I'm going to need loads more of them. Let's see if I can make a load more transport belts. And if I bring the transport belts down, maybe down here, no, that would take up too much space. Run them along the edge. So, there. Like that. How near the copper are we? Oh yes, that reaches down south. So I could actually take it all the way down there. I know I'm going to be getting iron plates all the way up and down. Okay, let's now connect this. And there we go. That's the iron plates. Of course I need to turn them into gears, but that I'll worry about later. For now, I just want to make sure I'm getting plenty of iron and I can put two more on this side when them two run out okay now it's time to work on the copper let's grab some more plates first See if I can remember where they where the chest is where they were being stored oh it's that chest there Okay, I think I've got plenty of <laughs> iron plates. Right, let's go down here and work on now the copper, getting the copper from the south to the north. And if I can, I want to run it up this side. Where is the copper? Oh, gone by it. So here's the copper plates. Oh, and there's the timer. 
Um, let's go on a bit longer though. At least get the copper plates in place. So really I ought to have two of these I think. Yeah two, definitely two. So what I can do is I can rip that up because that's nearly run out. So I'm going to need one more electric drill. And then I can have both of these. I'll get out of the way. And have them side by side like that. Okay, this could actually go through another smelter here. I like the idea of that. This one. That I can just copy exactly what's there. Oops, let's get closer. Like that. Okay, inserter now. And then that. Now what I need to do is this transport belt. So really I want to run it all the way across to about here and then run it up there. I'm tempted, so tempted to rip all this up because I doubt I'm going to use it. I don't know where the train track really connects. That would be a massive jigsaw. But maybe here. If I put one down. Right, let's make a load more. Okay, that's getting to the north, so I've got all this space now down here, I can figure out what machines to put. Um, where's the copper? So the copper's got to run from over here. Up the plates, I mean. So the plates now can come across this way. I won't block the stone. There we go. Right, so that's the iron plates north to south and the copper plates south to north, which I can use for making copper cables in the south or the north. And same for the plates, I can use them for any of the machines that I need. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here. I've got my infrastructure, well, I've started on it. I wouldn't say I'm far from complete but at least now I've got access to the materials of both types of metals in the north and in the south and I'll continue on in the next episode wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye <laughs>